Hi everyone, my name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your February 2017 Love and Romance Lenormand Oracle reading. So first off, I would like to thank everyone so much for thumbs upping my videos, for watching my videos, for sharing them and subscribing to my channel. I would like to thank my old subscribers who have been with me since last year, and I would also like to thank my new subscribers who have been with me since this year. I appreciate all the support and all the kind words and comments that you guys send me, so I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I am going to be doing a drawing, just like I did in my December videos, where I am doing one free reading a month for a subscriber. All the details are in the description box below, so please check those when you are finished with this reading. Also, there is an example of a free reading that I did that is posted under my video's link, so if you would like an example on one style of how I do private readings, please check that out. Also, one service that I would like to really offer to you all is helping you find your lost items because that is something that I'm actually really good at. I use it, not every day, but I use it often and I have helped my friends and my family find lost items, things that, things that they have been looking for for a long time. So I would love to extend that service to you all and see if we can point you in the right direction. So if you would like help finding something or if you would like to have a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. So please check your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. If these messages do not resonate with you, please check back in February because maybe those messages will then as I'm shooting this in January. I also suggest not to check the videos of your romantic partner or your love interest because all these messages resonate with people in different ways and they may not resonate with that person at all and it would be very very unfortunate if you know someone went to confront their lover on things that they hear thinking that they're doing something that they're not and potentially starting some friction in your relationship so i would hate to see that happen so please stick to your own sun moon and rising sun videos okay so now i'm going to tilt the screen down so you can see the cards that i have for you and i will see you again at the end of the video for your lenormand wish from me okay thank you everyone this video is for those born under the sun moon or rising sign of taurus Okay, Taurus, so before I start, I would like to say that I do see some challenges coming up in the month of February by these three cards. So if you're someone who does not like to hear bad news, and I recommend checking your moon and, and ascendant videos, your rising sign videos, but I always believe that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So I do suggest listening to be prepared if this does happen in the month of February, but you can use your best discretion. Okay, so the cards that I have for you here, Taurus, are the cross, the whips, the man, the bear, and the rider. And the man is a card in the center, so that represents the overall theme or energy. And this is saying for those who are men this can represent you if you are in a same sex relationship this can represent a male love interest a male lover a new interest or an ex if you are a female this can represent a man that you're romantically involved in involved with or interested in it can represent a new man coming into your life or it can also represent an ex of yours and if you're in a same-sex relationship, this can represent your more masculine partner. And this can also represent for the men, it can represent uh, the other man. So let's start. Okay, so we have here the whips and the bear. And the whips and the bear saying that 
In the month of February, you may find yourself in a relationship or with someone that you are romantically involved with, this, this man, okay? You may be in a relationship that has a lot of sex and has a lot of uh, physical interaction, okay? Or it can be a very emotionally charged relationship with someone who is very, very dominant because the whips has to do with arguments, it has to do with uh, physical activities such as sex, it can also do with arguments. And the bear represents someone who is domineering. The bear represents someone who is very, you know, overbearing, someone who is possessive, someone who is very dominant and demanding. So, these two cards together are saying that you may have some arguments or some difficulties with someone because of them being possessive or too dominant or aggressive with you. Or this person can be too overprotective of you, causing some friction. This person can be someone who uh, is a large stature, could be someone strong, someone who works out a lot. They're going to have a, a strong presence. This could be someone who is hairy, someone who has facial hair for the, actually it could be for the women or the men, actually. So it could be someone with wide shoulders, uh, someone who is very curvy, or again, muscular, someone who has a large stature. Okay, so this can say that you'll have a lot of physical interactions with that dominant person. And unfortunately, I believe for some of you, there may be some physical um, abuse going on, which is unfortunate, but for some of you, that may be true. Um, okay, so then I also see in inability to compromise you guys may be unable to compromise and there may be a lot of friction and the relationship or the situation may be very combative or combative <laughs> in the month of february so here we have the cross the cross and the writer and together this is saying that you may find yourself unhappy with this partner because the writer can also represent a lover coming in, a new romantic interest. So it's going to say that you may be unhappy with this person. Okay, you may have some challenges with this person. Um, unfortunately, this person can represent someone who is a stalker. Okay, there may be a burden that happens that causes you or the other person to move on. Okay, or you can get some bad news because the writer also brings news. Usually it's good news, but with the cross saying that he may be some bad news and the writer usually comes in quickly. The writer is someone who comes in quickly and leaves quickly. So it can be some news that's overwhelming and it comes in quickly and it can be from someone else or it could be you relaying a message. So we have the man and the writer card. And again, this is saying that if you are in a situation, in this romantic situation, you may decide to leave or you may decide to, you know, walk away from this person. Um, if you are a male in a relationship with another male, this could say that there may be some arguments. I feel like there's some arguments because of the male looking at someone else, or you looking at someone else, because I see that these cards are looking at each other. So again, this person could come in and leave just as quickly as they came. Okay, so the hidden dynamics I see in here, when I add up these two cards, I get the mountain card. And the mountain card is saying that you may be feeling stagnant in this situation in the month of February, or you may be feeling indifferent because of all these, you know, situations, because of this situation going on, the burdensome arguments, the burdensome, you know, interactions. You may be feeling um, indifferent, or there may be a lack of clarity, or you feel like you can't move in this situation, okay? There may be some challenges. And counting up the outer cards, I get the scythe. And the scythe, I'm sorry, these are all of them. So I'm going to go back to this. So counting up the outer cards, I actually get the bear, which is, again, this card. And in this situation, the bear is saying, it's, it's talking about um, asserting yourself 
asserting yourself because this person is very powerful. So this is saying that the solution in the month of February for this situation is somewhere between this indifference, this lack of harmony, something to do with that, and regaining your, your authority and your control, uh, using your strengths to overcome weaknesses, building a solid, secure, and nurturing relationship because this person can also, um, the bear also speaks of a mother type of figure, a uh, mother bear. So this can talk about a nurturing relationship. So the difference can be, the solution can be figuring out where you want to fit somewhere in between that stagnation or that lack of harmony and regaining your authority and using your strengths to overcome this situation. And this, the where you fall in, in between these two cards, the mountain and the bear will be different for everyone. This is a general reading, so this is going to apply to many, many people. But do what is best for you. Use your intuition. Use your best judgment. Okay, so adding up all of these is the scythe, the scythe card. And the scythe card, uh, the scythe card deals with things, it normally deals with a quick and sudden ending of something. So this is saying that you may have to make a quick decision in whether you want to stay in this situation that's not working for you or you know use your power and stand up for yourself. So it says that you may have to make a quick decision or you may decide to end this situation quickly. Okay, and so this is saying to be careful because something's gonna happen quickly. And this can also represent releasing from a bad relationship and cutting off something that no longer serves you. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry about the bad news. However, it doesn't look like this is going to be anything that's, you know, too, too difficult, um, something that you can get over and things can improve in the next month. Okay, so now I'm going to tilt the screen back up so I can give you my personal Lenormand wish for you for the month of February, Taurus. Hi, Taurus. I hope that you find this reading helpful for you in the month of February 2017. So the Lenormand wish that I have for you is represented by the Scythe card. And my wish for you is may any obstacles to love be cleared from your life so you can experience and enjoy the love and romance that you deserve. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for thumbs upping and liking my videos. Please like it, this video if the messages resonate with you. Please share this video and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.